Hi, this is Jeremy Simon of 3D Universe. I just want to do a quick follow-up video here. I uh, posted something a while back with an overview of the Simplify 3D software, which uh, is, is my preferred option for preparing objects for printing. And I wanted to highlight a specific project where I used that and uh, where it came in particularly useful. So you may have seen the video I posted with this gentleman, Jose Delgado. I had the opportunity to make a 3D printed hand for him recently. And uh, there's a, a detail of it right there. And this was uh, a good example, I think, of, of where this Simplify 3D software really shined. So here's a, one of the build plates. It took two build plates to produce the whole thing. But as you can see here, I produced it in a way using the custom support features in Simplify 3D. So you can, you can see all those nice support pillars all in the proper places. And uh, I wanted really uh, good support here. So I, I put it uh, pretty much everywhere externally where it would be supported from the build plate. And I even left that support inside some of those larger uh, holes because it's very easy to punch that support out after printing. But then there are certain holes where the cables run through in this particular model. Uh, channels that go through the actual finger parts, for example, like this here. And as you can see, using their features in the Simplify 3D software, I was able to remove the support pillars from those channels. Uh, same thing with the parts that go through the hand portion up here, where the, where the cable channels go through uh, those, those uh, channels up in the, in the palm. I was able to keep all of those clear so that the result is when it prints out, those channels where you have to push these cords through are perfectly smooth and clean and it's really easy to f uh, feed those cords through. Whereas I have seen others in the Enable uh, volunteer community uh, where these, these hands are designed and produced have talked about uh, some difficulties they've had using other slicing programs because of the support material that gets jammed into those channels and you have to try to get it out of there and some of these channels are not straight through, they sort of curve through the through the geometry of the hand, and so it can be a little challenging to get that clean and then to feed the cords through. So this was uh, uh, this is a, another example of the same hand, just in a different color, and uh, you can see there's a, a number of cords that go through these upper channels, and then there's another set of cords that goes through the fingers to help return them to their position. And so all of those channels were able to be kept completely clear of support, while the rest of the model is fully supported as it prints the way it needed to. Um, I was also able to use the sparse infill and sparse support uh, features in Simplify 3D. And what that does is it allowed me to select a thinner layer height for the overall object so that when it prints, I was using 0.16 millimeters for the layer height, and it prints uh, with a nice uh, looking outer finish, which I then further um, improved using that acetone vapor uh, method. And uh, I was able to use uh, the sparse infill and support feature to print those inner parts every other layer. So you still got that nice outer finish, but it prints more quickly than if it was doing everything at the same layer height. So that's a nice feature as well. So I just wanted to highlight that as one specific example of, you know, if you're, if you're doing real basic stuff with 3D printing, there's great options out there. There's a lot of free slicing programs that work quite well. But if you're really serious and you're using this for more advanced 3D printing projects where you really need a finer degree of control, um, you know, as I suggested before, take a look at Simplify 3D. It's, uh, in my case, definitely been worth the investment. Uh, so good talking to you all again. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.